Hey, Tom Bartels from GrowFoodWell.com, where I show you how to unleash the food potential in your backyard using natural systems to grow more organic food in small spaces with less work, so you can fit food growing into your busy lifestyle. And I'd like to ask you if you want to become confident at growing food well and succeed at backyard food gardening. When you learn the simple methods that I teach in this workshop, you'll be ahead of 90% of the home food gardeners and be able to sidestep the most common mistakes people make. And I'd like to tell you something that I wish I had known back in 2001 when I started growing food initially. Back then, I thought of a food garden as some sort of standard container where I would grow separate individual vegetables. I wanted to learn how to grow carrots, or I wanted to learn how to grow a cabbage. And I thought that if I knew how to put the seeds in there and had some details about individual vegetables, I'd be all set to go. But after having pretty weak harvest during my first attempts, I learned to approach the garden as an interconnected ecosystem. And that's when things turned around. It was when I got deeper into soil preparation and composting when I saw everything in the garden improve all at once during one season. That's when I realized that if I put most of my efforts into giving that natural support system the conditions it needed to thrive, everything else came along with it. I could still focus on growing different types of vegetables, but the main driver that made everything grow better was the natural system in the garden beds and how it was set up initially. The biggest part of that framework was to create living soil. So I'd like to talk about what that means in a minute, because if you're wanting to grow food at home in smaller spaces, from 100 square foot beds to 4,000 square feet, understanding this basic concept can help increase your garden fertility much faster. After 15 years of training, research, and field tests, I can safely say that if you're having problems with spindly, weak plant growth, compressed soil, or too many pests, weeds, and disease in your garden, you can help all those situations by increasing the diversity of organisms in your soil. Let me repeat that. Many of the problems people see in their food garden stem from not having enough microorganisms in their soil. And the microorganisms are probably not there because they're not being fed. All you have to do is learn how to feed them. And then they help you grow food. Lots of food. And if you're just starting out in food gardening or expanding your garden beds, this information can save you a ton of time and frustration. I grow about a thousand pounds of organic food in my backyard each year in a 125 day growing season in southwest Colorado and I teach others how to do the same wherever they live so you can enjoy fresh organic food right outside your door in one bed or 40 while saving time by design. I do this using organic techniques that naturally increase yields and garden design methods that cut my work in half so I can grow a serious volume of food in a small space while not spending my whole summer worrying about the garden. I've been using these methods for over 15 years now, and I've found ways to make it even easier to succeed at growing food at home. I've been helping people from all over the U.S. and abroad grow food through online video programs. And I'm really happy about the new workshop I'm offering here. It's an online video series that you can use to learn how to grow food well at your own pace, one step at a time. There's a resurgence of interest in homegrown organic food and the attraction for people to rekindle their connection with clean, healthy food makes a lot of sense. There's nothing better. The problem is that over the past few generations, we've handed off food growing to an industry and forgotten many of the techniques for growing food locally. Our grandparents knew how, and it wasn't called organic food, it was just food. So when people have trouble in their gardens, they sometimes think they just don't have the green thumb but I believe it's because they just don't have the right information. Once you get some guidance in the right direction, things can change dramatically. It doesn't come necessarily from working a lot harder, just smarter, which means getting nature on your side to help supercharge the garden for you. The natural systems around you can help create the fertility your plants need. Once you understand how the patterns work, that usually turns things around, and it usually takes less work to grow more food. These methods work on any size garden space. I have students with just a couple of beds that total about 100 square feet. It allows them to get far more growth in these smaller spaces. And on the other side of the spectrum, one of my students is running a CSA that grows veggies for 24 families. It works at any scale and in any climate zone. You simply adjust the planting dates and the vegetable varieties for your particular region. 
When you follow this step-by-step -step approach, each of your first few seasons, you can be increasing your yields as you get the hang of things. And it really doesn't take that much space to grow large quantities of food. All the images you've seen here are from my gardens in just 1,300 square feet. That's an average size backyard. When I started, my yard looked like this, and it's amazing to see the differences over time. I've been getting this kind of consistent growth and harvest every year while I'm working less to keep it going. For gardens that have problems with weak growth and a lot of compacted soil exposed, these methods help amend the soil and create lush beds that grow wall to wall and hold in moisture by using intensive plant spacing. For those gardeners that always seem to be battling some sort of pests or disease in their gardens, it's usually a symptom of a deeper problem. Most of the time it has to do with organic matter in your soil and there's not enough of it, or a lack of microbial life in your soil, or a mixture of both. And when you take the basic steps that I lay out in the workshop and use the benefits of living soil, then you get the rich biodiversity in those microorganisms helping protect all your plants from pathogens. Using these same exact methods in my own garden, I haven't had any major pests or disease take hold in over 15 years. And it's fully organic. There are no synthetic pesticides or herbicides of any kind. When you master these simple methods, you get to see plants grow to their full genetic potential. No more tiny carrots or beets that look like radishes. These plants will look as good as anything you can get at the health food store. Simply using natural systems to help you grow food kind of puts everything else to shame. Think about a forest for a second. It grows without human assistance. People don't have to run around the woods with cans of fertilizer. That's because it does it on its own, using organic matter in living soil. So you can kind of treat your garden like a forest and help the microorganisms go to work doing what they do best. Then you don't have to micromanage as much. This happens mostly through compost or worm bins, mulch, and planting strategies. It's a simple process. There are several easy ways to do it, and they all create some great benefits. You get to enjoy maximum nutrition from food picked at the peak of ripeness with flavor that's unmatched anywhere. You get to grow food locally, which helps reduce your footprint on the environment. You get to have more independence and self-reliance by growing some of your own food free of chemical additives. The food you grow at home is far cheaper than what you could buy at the market, and each pound of food from your garden is one less pound relying on an industrial food system that depends on fossil fuels. When you grow food well, you get a contentment level that's really off the charts. I'm trying not to get too dramatic about it, but it's true. That's what really happens. When your food growing efforts get responses like this, it's just incredibly rewarding. You're reconnecting with a 10,000 year tradition of growing food. We need to do more of this, all of us do, if we have the space. You get the benefits of great tasting food, high nutrition, and healthy exercise. By growing food this way, you're not only getting all these health benefits personally, but the techniques are increasing the health and biodiversity of the soil and local ecosystems. It's called regenerative agriculture, and it's a small-scale home version of what's being done globally to help regenerate ecosystems. And it's probably less work than what you're doing right now. It's also fun to know you're part of a wider movement of people from all walks of life who are reconnecting through food. And for people with busy summer schedules, this system saves tons of time. I get busy in the summer with outdoor adventures, so I leave for weeks at a time and the garden does just fine on its own. That's one of the key benefits of this approach. You're freed from being tied down to the garden all summer. If it's set up right, you don't have to micromanage everything. Simple automated drip irrigation is a key tool, and I show you how to set that up. It's actually quite easy. I use about a $30 timer and a couple AA batteries to run the watering on all my beds. In one or two afternoons, you can set up a timer and a drip irrigation kit, and then your garden gets watered daily, all season, whether you're there or not. In this video workshop, you'll also learn what not to do, what behaviors are a waste of your time. You'll learn how to set up your beds so you'll only have to weed once per season. When you design your garden to let nature give you a hand, your main job becomes just replenishing the biodiversity of organisms in the soil each season. When you do that, lots of other common problems just disappear. You'll be ahead of the majority of food gardeners who aren't using these natural advantages. There are over 50 videos in the workshop organized in eight modules that cover all the steps for gardening success. 
They're listed on the page below this video, so I won't go through all the details here. But it's a comprehensive series of gardening videos that you can watch on your own schedule. You'll get to learn every step of the gardening process that I use, from building raised beds or double digging and making choices on seeds and seedlings, to how to actually plant each variety of vegetable. We go through making compost, buying compost, using worm bins, and a host of other subjects listed below. You get immediate access to the entire course once you join, so you can start today and use the videos to support your efforts all year. The first bonus is the Food Gardener's Success Blueprint. It's a 72-page ebook and a three-part video training. You'll also get the customizable planting software that can help you with the planting schedule that's specific to wherever you live in the United States. We also have new video trainings each month of the year. Similar garden programs of this depth can cost from $500 to $1,000 for weekend workshops. I think that's just too expensive for most home gardeners. And frankly, I can never retain all that information jammed into a weekend. That's why the monthly membership with all the streaming videos works so well. You can go back and watch them as often as you like and cancel anytime. So you really get to learn in your own style and at your own pace. And you can access answers to your questions in a logical pattern. The biggest priority for me is to make this program affordable to as many people as possible so we can all grow more organic food at home. And if you use just a handful of these methods, you more than save the cost of the program and save time and resources and increased yields in the first season alone. So if you've ever been wanting to learn how to grow food well and improve your food garden or just starting out and want to set things up right, now's the time. It's a no-risk way to improve your organic garden this year. To join Garden Club today, simply click on the button below and you'll be taken to a shopping cart. Once you complete the registration, you'll be invited to log in. Then you can immediately start watching the video modules and have access to all the classroom materials. You should see the button on the page below. So click there, come on in, and I'll see you on the inside.